anytime I head overseas, I always come to this realization that here in Australia, we love to be surrounded by rules. Like, like we love the shit out of rules, <laughs> right? Because I was, I was over in America, uh, it was kind of cool, and, uh, sorry mate, I'm an international comedian. Um, yeah, I guess I am. Uh, <laughs> it's weird you brought it up and it's on TV now. Uh, <laughs> that's annoying. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so, uh, I was over there and uh, I went to a pool party. So you got a pool, right, and there's a bar next to it. And I was serving cocktails. I thought I'd get two cocktails. But ladies and gentlemen, these, um, these cocktails, um, it's probably hard for me to say right now. Um, these cocktails were served to me in, in glass. <laughs> Not plastic. <laughs> That's bad water safety, if I've got to be frank. <laughs> and I looked at the bartender, and as a fully formed adult, I looked him in the eye and said, can I take these into the pool? <laughs> And he said, yeah. And I walked off and I swear this was my response. I said, we're not allowed to do that back home. <laughs> and all I can think is that guy saw me walking off like, that's nice. <laughs> He's bought a drink for his carer. That's nice. <laughs> so I did a gig, I was over in LA and yes, mate, international comedian, all right. And <laughs> I was over in LA and I got off the stage and this American made a beeline towards me. And there was no, hi, how are you, whatever. He just looked me in the eye and he said, you're an Australian. And I thought, well, you cracked this case, Columbo. <laughs> Gold star for you. And then he said, you know, and he was so proud of this. He said, I saw a documentary about your country on Netflix and you know, you have the most venomous and poisonous snakes and spiders in the world. It's like, okay. Thanks, hombre. And then he was so earnest. He looked at me and he said, wow, you must live in the most dangerous country in the world. And I thought to myself, that's amazing that you've ascertained that from watching a documentary because I watch your six o'clock news and I know about your lax gun laws. And I reckon we're coming a distant second. Uh, yeah, because you know what snakes won't do after they bite you? Reload. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> you see drive-bys and things like that in America, like snakes don't have hate crimes, they've stayed the hell out of my long grass crimes. <laughs> like you watch the news in America, right, and there's a white cop trying to shoot a black guy, you're like, this isn't cool, but if you're ever out in the bush and you see a black snake chasing after a white hockey, you're like, this is goddamn hilarious. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for listening to my waffle. Have a